Robert Sanchez is still miles away from the goalkeeper that Chelsea FC need him to be. But I'm still willing to wait it out because, well, Mauricio Pochettino has shown all of us that, uh, well, knee-jerk reactions will not be welcome in this phase of our history and that uh, many more times than not, it will work out. That is exactly what we're going to be discussing today. Robert Sanchez and if and where he needs to improve, um, uh, that is, of course, to be the, ch the goalkeeper that Chelsea need him to be. Welcome to this video. My name is Desire Derek Ford Mugumisa. This is Mugumisa on the Chelsea Pulse and uh, here we talk everything Chelsea. I would love for you to subscribe to this channel turn on the notification bell and yes please follow me on social media on the different platforms as shown on your screen let's get straight into this one and as we do please where you agree with me where you disagree with me please use the comment section and let me hear from you we shall continue that conversation right there now he's very hard to watch sanchez isn't he uh, sometimes, the, many times, the serves are going to come through and is going to carry us through games like we've already seen this season. But somewhere in that game where he could contribute more to us in the attacking phase, he has come horribly short more often, much more often than not. And that's exactly what I would love for us to discuss in this one. I feel like Sanchez keeps losing concentration through the games. Like he probably is in the middle of the game and is wondering oh my goodness i can't believe i'm playing at chelsea today i can't believe Dezabi benched me and now here i am representing all these people and before every, that, that thought can get done someone is sending in a shot and he's going to save it or maybe someone is giving him a pass and now he needs to you know get that ball getting to um, maybe a forward or something and uh, he doesn't know what to do it feels like he's doing some of these things on cold feet um, uh, in there. With the shortcomings that Sanchez gets to come with um, uh, as far as this game is concerned, you realize that it affects other players on the pitch representing Chelsea in that moment. Now, I'll give an analogy um, uh, whereby I'm looking at you at your workplace. Many times, if there's someone on your team that keeps coming short on something, by human nature, you start concentrating on their shortcomings so much that your own output is affected. What am I saying? If a guy named Jake keeps coming short on a particular item that he needs to be delivering, then the mamas are going to start around the office about, ah man, that guy, ah man, that guy, that guy, that guy, he comes short on this, he makes us weak, da, 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 da. Before you know it, that conversation is outside the offices, it's now at the bar. Man, we work with a guy, uh, he's called Jake, he does this, da, 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 da. You get so engrossed in that conversation, you start forgetting what your own thing should be. So one time you're going to be asked, oh, by the way, why didn't this thing get done? And you're like, oh my goodness, I don't have a reason to it. But yeah, I remember being at the bar and I was talking about Jack coming short on all of these things. I digress. But what I'm saying is, many times, if Conor Gallagher was supposed to do more, if Enzo Fernandez was supposed to do more, if Nicholas Jackson was supposed to do more, everyone is much more concentrating on how that bad pass and how shaky our goalkeeping area in as far as contributing to offensive phase is concerned, that now they are not also looking for extra ways we can get to attack. What does that mean? That our attacking phases get to reduce, that the pace at which we attack our opposition gets to reduce, that the opposition defensive line, the defensive midfielders and everyone is playing much higher than they should and making it all so hard for us. So now we arrive with the defenders and we don't know what to do in there. So for me, partially in as much as it's a goal scoring issue that we've had for a while, I really feel that our goalkeeping shortcomings, as far as the boot is concerned, as far as distribution of the ball is concerned, are also greatly com um, uh, you know, con contributing to our shortcomings up forward because we don't have that extra something that comes with an offense currently as far as Sanchez is concerned right there. Now, I feel that again, with better boots between the sticks, the pace at which we attack improves greatly. You know, um, uh, our opportunities currently will just not be happening because when Sanchez gets on the ball, he's hoofing it for touch. Uh, if you watch rugby, you know what that is. And uh, unfortunately, in rugby, they are looking for touch. Sanchez is losing the ball for us. In rugby, they are trying to gain um, uh, territory and all of that. We don't need to gain no territory. We are dominating these games. We have more possession and all of that. Can you at least find Mudrik or Chilwell or whoever is playing at left wing or left wing back or whatever? Can you at least 
skip about four or five players that have come to attack us and now just turn that you know defense into attack we've watched the likes of Ederson uh, these situations come up for them and they're finding Mahrez or they're finding uh, Foden on the wings or Bernardo Silva they are finding Haaland or Aguero or whoever it is that is something that I feel with the way we are playing at the moment, with the wing-backs or full-backs, depending on what you prefer to call them, going as high as they are and stretching out the opposition defence thin. With uh, the two number 10s that we tend to play with, the guys who are playing right behind um, uh, the striker, usually Sterling and Modric, and the striker himself, whether Nicholas Jackson or now Breuer. We have the opportunity to spread these people thin. We have the opportunity, if we have Nicholas Jackson on, to knock the ball over the defence and running onto it and finishing the way he has already shown he can finish and all of those kinds of things. With our shortcomings there, that means that no defensive midfielder or um, uh, defender is playing with a caution that they could be caught out by the goalkeeping boot. Now we only have to rely on Levi Colwell delivering those, but those often go to the wing, so we don't have something coming through the middle and he can only do it so much. Uh, Thiago Silva usually finding the right wing back in one way or the other or, or maybe even the left wing back in one way or the other so um, uh, it limits us in many ways playing with Sanchez in the current state that he is again I'm not calling for his substitution just yet all I'm saying is he's done tremendously well I understand that he has three clean sheets this season the most by any goalkeeper I read somewhere in the English Premier League at the moment all I am saying is guys we cannot be comfortable. Just the other day, of course, I was crediting uh, Pochettino about uh, leaving Modric in there and giving him the opportunity to just make mistakes until he gets it right. Looking like he had instructed his team, you get the ball, as long as Modric is open, feed him the ball and let him keep going. And it paid off. He got his goal against Fulham and I hope he can get to do more, especially if he's not so badly injured um, uh, after within that game and all of that. And it, it's something positive. And I think that's exactly what Mauricio Pochettino is doing with Sanchez. I know where you're coming short at. You've not played football in such a long while. These are some of uh, the first full matches that you are playing in your career again since the Zabi dropped you and all of that. There is definitely improvement that is needed on your kicking and all of that. And uh, I want to give you the opportunity to figure it out. Of course, the kicking has been better in some games and terrible in the others. But um, uh, yeah, maybe we shall wait it out on all of that. And I am okay for that because again, it has shown that it gets to work, this patience thing as far as Mauricio Pochettino is concerned. But it is something that needs to be dealt with as soon as possible. Even the passes that he's getting currently, uh, uh, Sanchez, many times they are with the less impactful players because now there are moments whereby he has messed up so much and he's worried and scared of sending the ball forward and all of all those kinds of things. So it is still uh, a bit a bit shaky. I'm at the edge of my seat some of those times when I watch Sanchez uh, on the ball and trying to you know um, uh, find a play in there. And uh, I hope I hope we can get to figure it out because currently. My worry is on the fact that opposition teams, especially when we played Brighton, who obviously know the goalkeeper in the League Cup, you could see they were looking to press him and make him as uncomfortable as possible, force him to make mistakes, many times giving the ball back to a Brighton player, and they were just refreshing their attacks and coming back at us in one way or the other. Of course, there were other people on the pitch that got to do well and uh, cut out some of uh, the possible opportunities where we're going to be hurt in that particular game. But yes, opposition will always be picking up on these little things there will be players there will be coaches that will be sending out teams to say we are playing Sanchez don't let him find easy passes to his goalkeepers it's easier with the midfielders this is how you stand this is how you defend and we'll definitely keep going at Chelsea at every opportunity that we get good enough currently he's getting the shot stopping uh, quite well right now now as far as that is concerned, uh, many people will be wondering, but we have an opportunity on the goal, uh, on the bench, there is uh, George Petrovic. How do, why, why don't we get to bring him in? And yeah, of course, with human nature, when something is not exactly working as you expected it to do, the first thing you're thinking of is changing it. But the challenge we have with this particular change, in my opinion, is that Sanchez's strengths, and he has so many of them that he has already shown at the club, are the strengths that George Petrovic, I feel, gets to bring in. The shortstop 
developing the big frame actually um, uh, such as an even bigger frame and all of that um, uh, the calmness and all of that maybe George Petrovic edges him a little bit and all of that but he's not exactly the best kicker George um, uh, Petrovic and uh, that's exactly where Sanchez is struggling at at the moment so it doesn't exactly bring you a big improvement the moment you make a change like that um, uh, currently and you want to also factor in the fact that or factor in the um, uh, the situation that um, uh, when George Petrovic now gets in he has so much more to learn than Sanchez. Sanchez had already played in the Premier League had played in English football for such a long while and he had just been benched for the bigger part of last season by De Zabi when he fell out of favor. Um, uh, so he's really just getting back to what he already knew. With George Petrovic on the other hand, young sensation and all of that, but he's getting used to the league and uh, there's all that extra pressure of who he's trying to replace. So you think that if you put him in goal, there's going to be that mistake or two. And the biggest question, and Chelsea fans are quite loud online, is why the hell did we replace Sanchez with this? A player could be terrible in one game. They sub him the next. Um, uh, the next one who gets to come in for him um, uh, does badly. And suddenly, the one that was so terrible and had been abused by Chelsea fans suddenly is being looked at as the one that who should be in goal. At least he did this, at least he did that. So you also don't want to be burning the young man that way and putting him at the deep end. So it looks like for him, it will be the cup games, maybe, especially now that it seems we are getting some sort of um, uh, you know, consistency and stability and some sort of confidence back in the team. They know they can win games and maybe the doubt is coming down a little and all of that. I hope they can build on what they've done in the last game, uh, the last couple of games when we play Burnley next and uh, that would be definitely good. Um, the more we do well in the league, the higher the opportunity for George Petrovic to come through uh, for especially the Carabao Cup and maybe the FA Cup, which are the other two competitions that we can get to do currently as far as that is concerned. So, um, uh, we'll see how that one gets to go. I would want to hear from you what your thoughts on our goalkeeping situation are. Hit the comment section just now and uh, let me know more about that. Other than that, I hope you've been seeing the prompts for you to subscribe to this channel, to turn on the notification bells and to follow me on social media and I hope you are acting on those. Until the next video, Chelsea fam, keep the blue flag flying high.